Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. If you have not watched my very first video trying out this tool, my first impressions, my honest opinion, I'll link it down below. Go check it out. That is my most viewed video so thank you so much to everybody who has been supporting my channel liking all my videos commenting showing love sharing my videos i am so grateful with all the love and support that i have been receiving from you guys this past year i actually met a subscriber i wanted to give her a little shout out to janina from my bank um i met her at my bank and she was an employee there she was super sweet so shout out to you janina and hopefully i'll see you again soon and shout out to all my subscribers i love you guys so much anyways let's get right into this video i'm actually wearing the same sweater from last year from that video i don't know i just wanted to wear it just because i thought it would be cool to wear the same outfit but i kind of don't like this sweater anymore I don't know it looks kind of funny um but i just wear it for the video today i'm going to give you guys my honest opinion about this hair tool i've used this tool so much and i can tell you guys the pros and the cons because i have been using this continuously for the last year like i have been using this maybe twice a month maybe some months like every single week in the summer i wasn't using it that much because i was curling my hair a lot more so i was using it maybe like once or twice a month twice max like i wasn't even using it that much in the summer because i was curling my hair a lot more but guys i will tell you the pros and the cons about this hair tool and if it's worth your money or maybe if i would recommend another one very similar to this one and why but i'm just gonna start this video by blowing out my hair because why would i film a revlon one step hair drying vitamizer video and not do my hair like i need to do my hair right what i have been doing lately that i really really have been loving is using this heat protectant this is from dry bar this is the prep rally prime and prep detangler so this is so good i just spray this all over my hair to prep my hair before i blow it out i use just like a regular comb to kind of detangle my hair a little bit this smells so good i also like the living proof restore perfecting spray but i'm gonna be honest with you guys i kind of like this one a little bit better i do like the living proof spray but i feel like this one gives you a little bit more shine and your hair just feels so soft afterwards it's like crazy so i am going to fast forward this if you guys want to watch another video just like kind of explaining how to use this tool then i'll link it down below i have a bunch of videos using the revlon tool so you guys can just go and check out the links down below i am going to time it though so i'm gonna let you guys know how long it takes me to do my hair with this so i'm going to start the timer and let's do this
Okay guys, I am done. As you can see, here's the final look. I mean, look at that shine. <laughs> like, it's so shiny. My hair is so soft. It's insane my hair is so sleek right now that i really don't even need a flat iron in the winter i only use this i don't even need a flat iron i mean unless i'm gonna do some type of wave or something to my hair if i'm gonna curl it then yeah i'll use some type of like flat iron or something but this is what my hair looks like after the blowout look how shiny it looks and look how healthy it looks my hair is so soft guys like i wish you guys could touch my hair right now but guys i do have to say that this right here makes a huge difference on how my hair looks like when i blow out my hair i have used other creams other sprays to prep my hair and this one's my favorite this one's so good i'm gonna link it down below i totally recommend this if you have curly hair if you have straight hair or whatever type of hair i think this is gonna work super well on you this is supposed to protect up to 450 degrees fahrenheit which is really good it helps detangle my hair and leave it so soft so shiny like i love this blow dryer and i always get really good results with this blow dryer but i noticed a big difference when i use different heat protectants different sprays and this one is my favorite so far so i'll link it down below i love it this video is not sponsored by revlon it is not sponsored by dry bar these are just products and tools that i really love so i share them with you guys because i really recommend them revlon has never contacted me they have never tried to do a sponsorship with me so don't think that i am being sponsored by revlon i know i have a lot of videos here in my channel using the revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer but guys i just really like this tool so that's why i share it with you guys and that's why i like to do videos comparing this tool to other tools that come out um you guys like those types of videos you guys are always requesting me to do more videos with the revlon brush so that is why i do it because you guys really like these types of videos and i love filming them and i love using this i mean i use this even when i'm not filming like i use this all the time so let me show you guys how long it took me to do my hair but it only took me a little bit over 30 minutes so 31 minutes guys that is so good for me i have curly hair i have a lot of hair it's a little bit long so it takes me i mean it used to take me like more than an hour to do my hair with a regular blow dryer and a brush and the results were not even close to this like my hair would be very poofy very dry just not cute like i had to use a flat iron and no matter what i had to use a flat iron after blowing out my hair but now i don't even need to and i'm able to blow out my hair in half the time so it's amazing i really do like this tool i do have some pros and cons so let's get right into that so after using this blow dryer for a year which is crazy time flies i like this but if you use it every single week over time you will notice that it is damaging your hair a little bit so when i tried this i fell in love i was using it every single week but then after maybe like two months i did notice that my hair wasn't as full and i did feel like it pulled my hair a little bit especially like around here so just be very careful detangle your hair very well and i would recommend just using it like once or twice a month like don't use it every single week so just be very careful don't overdo it just like any other hair tool though like if you use it too much it's gonna damage your hair because it's heat on your hair you know obviously it's gonna damage your hair so this other con is just something that i've heard a lot that people have commented on my videos that have tried this tool also my cousin this happened to my cousin um she had this tool and after a couple of times that she used it it just stopped working so after maybe like two months it just stopped working for her so that's kind of like not cool and that has happened to a lot of people like i've seen comments on like reviews of the tool um that it just breaks after a couple of uses i've used this tool for a year and it has not broken on me it keeps working just fine but it does kind of suck that it breaks after I use it like a couple times but it has not happened to me so the pros this is very affordable this will cost you like 40 to 60 dollars and honestly when i go get a blowout at a beauty salon they charge me at least thirty dollars so sixty dollars and you can blow out your hair at home in 30 minutes like all the times that you want then i think that's way more worth it than going to the beauty salon and spending thirty dollars on a blowout that is just gonna last you maybe most the most like a week but this you can use it over and over and over again and you're always gonna get a nice blowout 
from home i don't even go to the beauty salon anymore only for my haircuts but if i have to blow my hair there's no way i'm going to the beauty salon i'm not gonna spend 30 dollars on a blowout when i can just do it from home in 30 minutes and get these results with this tool and other tools that i have that i really like but with this tool you can definitely get really really nice results another pro is that this is perfect for traveling like this is all you need you don't need a blow dryer which is like this big and a brush which is also maybe like half this size this is really good for traveling i take this when i travel everywhere and i'm able to get a fast blowout and this doesn't take up too much space in my luggage in my bag i forgot to mention this is very loud that's the sound of this tool so it is really loud but that doesn't really bother me i'm okay with the sound i like the size of this brush if you have shorter hair like if your hair is like up to here i wouldn't really recommend this i would recommend the dry bar the double shot which is this one right here this one is so good too it's a little bit pricey it's actually way more expensive than the revlon this is 150 but if you have short hair you're gonna prefer that one because the brush is smaller sometimes i use smaller brushes and it takes me way longer and i'm like ugh, i don't like it i'm gonna go back to my revlon but this size is like perfect for me i love it and i'm able to really get in the roots i got the quickest blowouts with this tool like i have tried other tools and i love them as well but i definitely get the quickest blow out with this one so overall would i recommend the revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer i would recommend it i love it i've used it for a whole year so i think that's actually it for this video i'm just trying to think of all the questions that you guys have asked me about this tool i think i got it all covered okay guys that is it for today's video if you have not subscribed to this channel go subscribe to my youtube channel i would really appreciate that i upload videos every single week mainly about hair but if you guys want any other type of video then just let me know in the comments down below bye guys see you in my next video Mwah.